welcome back to my channel my goodness i haven't talked to you guys in a very very long time and that's because holiday season um you all know also i want to say happy new year and i hope that you had a wonderful holiday with your family and friends and you're staying happy and healthy so today i am going to do a quick unboxing of the Velky Potoki. I think that's how you say it. Um, Velky Potoko, maybe that's how you say it. I don't know. Um, lap stand. I ordered this a couple of months ago, actually, and um, and I know don't do the COVID and of course holiday season. The delivery of this parcel has been longer than I anticipated. I also ordered the floor stand, um, but the, um, what do you call that? The, uh, the seller has been very good with letting me know where it is or where it is in production. Um, it is handmade, so I understand that, that things are taking a lot longer to make. Um, so I have taken all of the packaging off of it. So it came wrapped in a... Um, like a plastic saran wrap and then um, it has a brown paper that is a wrap around it but the actual um, box itself is actually made of wood so this is good if you're moving like we do every couple of years and you want your stand to be protected I think that is a bonus and a plus um, it's like I said made of wood very well made um, so you have to unscrew good thing I have to screw screwdriver sizes and um, I haven't opened this yet so I'm opening it with you guys oops it's a little hard to <laughs> I might need my husband to unscrew these yeah um, Hey, hang on one second. I'm going to have him unscrew it and then I'll come back and show you guys because I don't have any strength. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what, but it's not budging for me. Um, so that's how you know it's, it's quite intact in there. Um, but I'll be back. I'm going to open the lid and um, yeah, so um, see you guys in a bit. you guys oh gosh that took forever and a lot of um work on my husband's part um his well i guess i could say his feedback in regards to the what are these drill are these drill screws, screws. <laughs> that could they're quite long so that took a little longer than we thought um so that's his that's his uh review in regards to um, the screws in the box. But um, they're all out now. There's so many, eight screws. Very secure. So, there you go. So he would say he, it is very secure indeed. Um, so you open it and ta-da! It is very snug in there too. Okay, hang on. Just making sure I don't like topple the camera on because it's in the way wow okay so it comes in this felt um, bag I'll put this aside and then inside it so you guys can see are these felt um, rolls so that they don't move around during transport so I guess they just want to make sure that um, it does, yeah, that, that the lap stand is secure in here and will lessen uh, for it breaking. Okay, so it's tied in there. Open it. Oh my gosh, so excited. Ta da! So I got the uh, mini lap stand. 
There it goes. Hang on. Oops. Let me see if I could zoom out. Let's give you star table. So I've got the, um, oh, also there's a felt. Um, I'm pretty sure you can remove this. Because um, I think, yeah, you screw it. So it sc screws and unscrew so that it also protects the wood um, so it doesn't get scratched um, during transport. Um, then you put your project here and then it slides like that and then you can secure it on the base here then if you want to move it then you just screw it here as far as the top part so the knob is up here and you can swivel it so that you can um, access the back of your project and then or however like angle you need it to be but um, on this is very good it really is um, worth the wait it's smooth uh, I pick the I wish I have the sheet um, I think this is a walnut color I wanted it to kind of match our home decor because one of the things that I don't like about my floor stand and lap stands are they're just eyesores and so I wanted it to not make it look super duper bad, especially I have a stitching spot downstairs. I just don't want it to be something that people notice as soon as they enter the house. And then they, they you know, you can definitely tell that it's not meant there. So, but yeah, um, this is a Velky, Velky Potoko. I think that's how you say it. Luda knows how to say it. I don't. It's a Ukrainian company. Um, and very pleased I love it and I would um, so far like the craftsmanship is good I'm gonna try it out um, maybe tonight I got a couple of things I need to finish um, and then um, I will give you guys my thoughts about it some more so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy that and um, I'll talk to you guys very soon bye bye back to my channel I'm gonna do a vlog style on uh, floss tube this coming month. Because to be honest, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to record one of these actual floss tube videos. Um, I recorded a video of my unboxing of the the Velky Potoko um, stand, but my husband was like, "Did you say marksmanship?" I guess I kept saying marksmanship when I meant to say craftsmanship. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to record that. If you don't mind that I said that, then I would just keep it the way it is or I'll just try to cut off. <laughs> That's fun. I was talking about the Velky Potoko stand. And so I don't know if I'm going to post it because my husband was like, you said the word marksmanship as opposed to craftsmanship. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Would you like to see my bear? Chloe bear is being mopey bear. And um, I decided I'm just gonna do like mini little updates during the week because it's a little harder for me to sit down and talk for 30 minutes and gather supplies because I don't have any really plans for 2021 yet for cross stitching. And I don't know the last time we spoke of the things I've worked on. So that's the plan is not have any plans. But I want to show you guys um, the uh, the lap stand I got um, that just came last week. Well, when did it come? Two, two days ago? Huh, sweetheart? A week. No, two days ago, I think. Um, whoops, I can't. I don't even know. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to try to show you because a lot of people ask me how it works. What do I think about it? 
and so far I love it um, and um, I like that the clamp is on the top part as opposed to the sides like a Lowry stand so that I'm not like because I stitched both handed so I don't keep on nudging the um, the sides does that make sense so I'm gonna, um, hang on, I'm gonna see if I can get you guys a good angle. All right, um, so this is my stitching um, chair that I got for Christmas. I have a couple of people ask me about where I got them, or I got them, got these chair, and I got this from, um, she's now our dear friend Petra, and um, I saw this in her little showroom, and immediately I was like, that is my stitching chair. It comes with an ottoman. And I picked the color because I like blue. And I thought it will match our house decor. So um, let's talk about the stand because that's what you guys came here for, I guess. So um, the stand looks like this if you have a stitching um, clamp on it. So it, it holds a hoop. And it also holds Q-snaps. Um, so right now I'm using the Nerga um, hoops. And I love them. I know some people that have bought them were asking me about um, if they really need a screwdriver to tighten it. And I say yes. Um, but you really only have to do it like once you put it on there. And it's fairly secure there until you move it again to another spot. And then you just have to like really pull the fabric so that it's taut, but it remains like drum tight. And um, yeah, you just have to, excuse me, like really screw it in there. So um, the project is obviously on there, right? Um, you can rotate it by just um, either holding onto your hoop or you can also hold it up top like this and then you can access the back of your project and then this is where you can snip your uh, needle or you know, your threads um, and then you can just rotate it back again um, to the normal position like this, okay? So um, what I like about this particular um, stand, this is a mini, is it's small and compact um, and it folds. So um, this part right here, is um, this little knob that you see here is what actually goes and makes it um, fold and then it can also um, changes the angle of your um, wherever angle you want your hoop to be so if you're on a table and you want it to be more closer to you then you can obviously um, move it side to side and then you lock it in by the using the knob so um, yeah, so that's why I got this because I figured if it ever comes, I don't know if it ever will because COVID, if we ever travel, then I can just put this in a bag and it's really compact. So this is more compact than the, um, what is that one lap stand I have? Um, it is by Artisan Design. Um, it is more compact than that. Um, it is also not as heavy, so um, it's very easy to travel with and you don't need to really take out any um, knobs or bulb to put it together. You literally just fold it, unfold, and then put your hoop and you're ready to go. So I like that part about this. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Um, the craftsmanship. Right, honey? You don't want to say hello? <laughs> He's watching TV, he's like, no. So the craftsmanship of, of, um, of, the, of the stand is amazing. Um, I would tell you that I ordered this in, I think, late August, September, and it finally came just now. So there is a bit of a, a, um, a wait, and I think it's also because, obviously, COVID, um, and then they were inundated with, I think, Christmas orders as well. So I do understand that it took, that's why it's taken a while. And 
the seller is really upfront about it that it's gonna take a while I also bought the floor stand um, but that is also taking a long time um, because as you can see I have here on my side is my lottery stand and to be honest it is such an eyesore I freaking hate this thing um, but I'm I, I stitch two-handed and so I did like the fact that I can stitch both, with both hands um, one thing I do like about this lower stand um, is it can hold my big frames for my shadow lane because I have the adapter um, otherwise um, yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with this probably put this upstairs or another one of my stitching spot um, and then once the floor stand comes I don't know if um, I don't know if that can hold a frame or not so we'll see um, I know I said I think it says that there is not meant for that kind of stitching or, or um, frame but maybe if it's not as heavy it would be okay but that is Hello, Flo. You see her walking with her tail. Um, to be determined once it comes. So I'm hoping that it does come soon and I can enjoy it. Would you like to say hello? She's coming back again. Are you going to say hi? <laughs> hello. There she is with her tail. Sorry. Go, Flo. Mommy's talking. So yeah, so that is my thoughts on the Velky Potoko. Um, it came very fast. I feel like it came very fast, but because our mail here is so sporadic and we have no idea when things are coming, I don't even track anything anymore. I like, it comes when it comes. Sometimes I'm like, oh, that's right, I ordered this. It was like two months ago. So you just never know when things come here. And so when um, I got the, the um, tracking I think I got it like the day before Christmas I didn't think I have it that fast no wait did I get it after Christmas I don't I don't remember now all I know is I got it and then I got the um, tracking number and I knew it was coming from Ukraine that I wasn't even thinking about when it's gonna come but it came and um, our mail goes to the United States then back here to Germany so it travels quite a bit so maybe they mailed it like way like in some beginning of December they just sent me the tracking I don't know but I wasn't too worried about it um, I knew that it was gonna come and it, and I have other stands that I can use at home that I wasn't like want like dying to have it but this is very nice and it made my stitching a lot faster and more enjoyable so um, if you're curious what I'm working on lately I can share you guys um, this is the Dimensions Gold Collection, and this is the Melady Chateau. Um, this is a unplanned start for me, you can see, um, because um, I was watching the series Bridgerton on Netflix, and I'm like, that is a perfect project to work on while I'm watching it. Um, so, Bridgerton series is one of my favorite from Julia Quinn. Um, I would say that I had different thoughts in the characters of what they should be uh, based on the books, but I understand that they are trying to make it more diverse and um, appeal to a lot of people. <laughs> so for me, the Netflix rendition is entertaining. Not quite the, by the book, but I still enjoy the books. So um, those are my thoughts on the series Bridgerton. Um, also, I worked on, um, can you guys see me? Is it better lighting? Maybe not. Um, I've wor worked on a Marechka kit. I think that's how you say this, Marechka. This is the Fields of Lavender, um, on Sun. And, um, I had to work on it because I wanted to have a finish so this is i i want to finish this before i work on something else and then in march um luda and i of cross stitch with luda hi luda we're talking about doing a um a shadow she said that she's gonna start a shadow lane in march so i told her well if you're gonna start a shadow lane in march and i should also do one too and we can call it um 
Man Man Mandala March or March Mandala. So um, if you want to join, you can um, join us. I'm sure we'll come up with a hashtag to use. So other than that, um, I have other ones that I've worked on. I can show you guys those during my other clips. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be. If it's long enough, I might just make it a video and call it a day so that I at least have an update. Um, and I should have a 2021 plans. Um, right now, all my plans are sitting in the little tub over there, and then we'll figure it out if um, I'm going to add more to it or um, take some out. Um, it just depends on um, on what I decide. So, it's around midnight, and I think I'm going to call it a night with this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but this is Dimensions Gold. Um, my lady chateau so I'm hoping to have the carriage done very soon in part of this area right there I actually also stitched some part of the um, like a little almost like a castle or not the castle the sh yeah castle and chateau right it is yeah so <laughs> I have it stitched, part of it at least. So I think I'm going to try and upload this video because I think I have enough footage to make it um, something. Um, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you guys very soon. And I'm going to try to keep up with this um, vlog style uh, floss through. Um, so I can show you guys what I'm up to because I don't really have any plans whatsoever. Alright guys, talk to you soon!